Your ability to leave people behind will determine your ability to move forward. You get used to certain coworkers, but to take a promotion or to take a different job, you're going to have to leave the coworkers that you have come to know and love behind. You find a new location, a new area you want to move. Well, to move there, you're going to have to leave your neighbors behind. You have to go to a different level. You graduate high school. You have to leave your teachers and your students that you've come to know behind. Life, the only way to move forward is to leave people behind. But many people cannot deal with that pain and they try to make time freeze and they suffer more. They don't reach their full potential and they will face pain regardless. See, that's the trick in life. You try to avoid pain by doing nothing, but all that does is prolong suffering and actually prohibit you from reaching a new level of joy and potential. One of the greatest movies ever is a movie called Good Will Hunting. The movie is basically about how to get past the pain in your life and unlock the greatest potential you have. And one of my favorite scenes in that movie is when Matt Damon and the guy J-Lo married uh, recently, I forgot his name, Ben Affleck. Uh, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, they're at a construction site and they're both in their young to mid-20s. And Matt Damon has great potential with his intellect. And he also met a girl who's moving to California, but they were in Boston. And his friend, Matt Damon's friend, Ben Affleck, was basically a construction worker and was basically at his max potential. And he knew it and he wasn't going to move anywhere. He was going to live in Boston forever. And so Matt Damon had said to Ben Affleck, when Ben Affleck had asked him, well, are you going to take the uh, job opportunity and are you going to go to California and live with your girl and become your best self and all these things? And he said, no, I'm not going to take the job. What do I want to do? Crunch numbers and, uh, you know, and, and why do I want to leave Boston? I'm going to stay here with you. We're going to have kids. We're going to watch the Patriots game and we're never going to change. We're always going to be together. And Ben Affleck, a true friend, a true friend will always release you from guilt. A true friend will always want you to leave them. Why? They love you. And even though it hurts them, they don't want to keep you caged to your lowest potential. So Ben Affleck had told Matt Damon, he goes, look, don't take this, don't take this personally because I love you. He goes, but if you're still here at the age of 40 watching the Patriot games with my kids, I'll kill you. He goes, you got a gift that no one got. You got great intelligence. You got great ability. And to stay where your great potential is not being used is a disservice, a disrespect to me and everyone here. It's powerful. And that was the loving push that his friend needed to move forward without him. Because he said, the greatest day of my life will be when I go to pick you up and you're no longer there. There'll be no goodbye, no nothing, you just left. Now look, take everything in context. I'm not saying you should just up and leave people without any notice and just be irresponsible and be hurtful. And I'm not saying you should always move to different locations and always take different jobs. This is for the healthy mind that wants the best out of their life. Anyone with an ear to listen, listen. You're going to have to. At certain times in your life, you got to use discernment, certain times in your life, leave people behind. Leave your neighbors behind, leave your family behind, leave your lovers behind, responsibly and within reason. This is You have to understand what I'm saying here, maturely. There's no way that you move past pain and unlock your greatest potential if you're unwilling to leave the familiar people and places behind. You have to leave them behind or else you will be Matt Damon at the Patriot game in your forties with your kids running around. And even though there's nothing wrong with that, if that's not your greatest potential, there's something wrong with that. It's a disrespect to everyone you love. If you don't go after your best life, it's a disrespect to yourself, 
to your loved ones, your friends, all the ones that really matter. Again, in context, within responsibility and within reason, based on your individual circumstance, you have to take this message in a mature way. And if you can't take it in a mature way, guys, just keep scrolling through TikTok and YouTube shorts. Even though there's a place for that, there's a time for entertainment and there's a time for straight wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And this is what this is right now, this moment in time. You got to leave me behind. How many times I've told people, don't get too attached to anything, including me, you got to leave me behind. Why? At a certain point, you should move past your teacher. You should move past your mentor. At a certain point in life, you have to move past the pain of someone dying. Not that it makes it better. Not that I, I wish that on any of us, but it's part of life. Time is like a river. It never stays the same. And within responsibility, within wisdom, within grace and tact, got to move forward. You can never take a job promotion if you're unwilling to leave your coworkers behind. You can never move to a new location if you're unwilling to leave your neighbors behind. You can never move forward in life if you're unwilling to walk a level of your journey alone. Never forget that. And that's why many people suffer this quiet desperation in life because they're unwilling to feel that pain for the long-term gain. And there's no way around life, guys. One way or another, you're going to feel pain. Whether it's the pain of change or the pain of suffering the same life that sucks and you know it sucks. And there's no car, there's no RV, there's no home renovation that can change the suffering you feel. I don't care how many times you paint that house. I don't care how many times. I don't care how many outfits you get. I don't. It doesn't change what's inside your greatest potential. If this video helped, click that thumbs up and go out there and fucking live your best life.